not being able to articulate your ideas and unable to speak whatever's on your mind is not a very sexy idea, right? Let me just take a sip of water. I'll be honest here. I was in that position where I didn't know how to articulate my ideas. I didn't know what to say that was on my mind. I didn't know how to spark a random conversation with a stranger. I didn't know how to build meaningful connections or conversations with people. Here's a little story. I've done door-to-door -door sales last year, but this year I worked with the company for two weeks. And I only worked for the company for two weeks because I wanted to understand the structure, be able to understand how they speak to people in general, right? And what I found out is that there's two types of people whenever you're selling your services when it comes to door-to-door. -door. There is the driver and then there's the expressive, right? You got to understand that this could translate to our society too. The drivers are more of like, they want you to get straight to the point. For example, you'll be like, hey, how's it going? They'll be like, good. And then later, they won't ask you or they'll ask you how you're doing. But later, whenever you're pitching the service, they'll be like, all right, can you get straight to the point? But whenever you're pitching to an expressive person, you'll see right off the bat before you pitch, they'll love to speak about whatever comes up on their mind to love to have a conversation with you and those types of people are amazing too drivers and expressives they all have their pros and cons and it translates to our society in a way because everyone has their own personality everyone has their own behavior patterns they stick to right and you got to understand that if you really want to become a successful speaker if you really want to impact people you have to understand behavior patterns. You have to understand human psychology. You have to understand by going through trials and errors, exploring different types of conversations, building reports, being able to match a small talk, deep conversations, all of that matters. And all of this really boils down to you becoming a better speaker by practicing. You gotta understand practice will make you progress into the right direction. If you practice becoming a better speaker every single day, you'll become 1% better every single day. It'll take time for you to see a lot of progress, but if you could see yourself from now to like a couple of weeks later, let's just say three months later, you're gonna be very surprised at how good you got at speaking. There's different techniques, there's different ways to express yourself. What I'm trying to say is put yourself out there. For me, I'm learning how to become a better speaker. And I had to pick up that door-to-door -door sales job because I learned so much. I'm extremely grateful for the two weeks that I had at that company because I learned so much and I'm extremely grateful. Yes, it was miserable doing door-to-door -door sales for 10 to 12 hours a day. But that experience taught me that I had insane worth that thick. I could do anything with my own life. I could become a better speaker if I do door-to-door -door sales by myself or just sparking random conversations here and there, right? And like I said, it's all about just exploring. If you're in your 20s, all I can say is if you want to become a better speaker, if you want to articulate your ideas, put yourself out there, man. You got this. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.